This culture medium has no lactose, but the culture medium contains bacteria called as E. coli. And this is the genome of E. coli. If we give a closer look to the DNA of the bacterial genome, we can find a DNA segment which has two parts. One is the regulatory gene. It consists of PI, the promoter, and lac I gene. Here, the I stands for inducibility. The lac I gene is not under the regulatory control. The other is the lac operon or lactose operon. The lac operon is an inducible operon. Here, the inducer is the lactose sugar. This lactose operon has regions like P lac, the promoter, and the operator. The operator region overlaps the promoter. Downstream of the operator, three regions are present, namely lac Z, lac Y, and lac A, which are collectively known as structural genes. The genes are transcribed by RNA polymerase to produce protein. But in this case, where lactose is absent, the RNA polymerase starts transcription at PI and moves downstream. During the downstream movement, RNA polymerase transcribes lac I gene to produce lac I mRNA, which then translated into a tetrameric lac repressor protein. This repressor protein binds to the operator region. This binding blocks the RNA polymerase from downstream movement. As a result, the structural genes cannot be transcribed, so no proteins are formed. The repressor is a type of DNA binding protein. Don't forget to subscribe, like and press the bell icon to see more videos on my channel.